हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जीबी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंथ नगर उत्तराखंड न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर एब्जॉर्ब बाय द प्लांट इन इनऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म एंड न्यूट्रिएंट मे बी प्रजेंट इन टू फॉर्म आइदर ऑर्गेनिक और इनऑर्गेनिक सो देर आर टू फॉर्म ऑफ न्यूट्रियट्स वेदर इट इज नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस एनी न्यूट्रियट सो इनऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म्स are important form and nutrients are absorbed by the plant so plant absorb this form plants absorb this inorganic form for example uh, inorganic form of nitrogen is ammonium nitrate for phosphorus it is orthophosphate calcium as a calcium ion sulfur for sulfate ion so different inorganic forms are there and when we talk about organic form organic form means the nutrient is present in carbon chain so carbon is present so carbon chain is there so carbon chains may be like that or any different form of carbon chain is there so whenever nutrient is present in this carbon chain then this form is called organic form and this carbon chain means organic form is not absorbed by the plant it is not bioavailable form for the absorption this form must be converted into in organic form so this is essential step so there is a conversion between inorganic as well as organic and for the nitrogen this is very important because most of the nitrogen is present in organic form so in soil organic form is present while plant absorb this form so there is a conversion between organic and inorganic form so uh, in simple uh, terms uh, we can see that plant absorb the nitrogen so this is the plant and it absorb the nitrogen in inorganic form either nitrate or ammonium ion and these ions are absorbed by the plant and this whether it is nitrate or ammonium then if it is nitrate is absorbed then it is converted into ammonium ion inside the plant this is the process and if it is ammonium absorbed it remain as such then this nitrate and ammonium are converted into first amino acids amino acids and then this amino acids converted into protein so this is the major other uh, organic form of in plant may be chlorophyll chlorophyll is important part uh, there are different organic form like uh, dna rna ribonucleic acids enzymes are there but most of the protein is present in protein so after the death of the plant this material is uh, back come back into the uh, soil then there, there is further conversion between organic and inorganic form so what are the different organic form of nitrogen in soil it is very important to know because most of the nitrogen in soil present in carbon chain organic compound so what are the important organic nitrogen compound or we can say what are the important organic form of nitrogen we can say and in plant organic form of nitrogen is chlorophyll in structure in dna rna enzymes proteins so organic form of nitrogen organic form of nitrogen in soil this is very important so as the nitrogen in soil come from the plant and in plant it present in the form of protein so first form is protein okay so in protein in soil so residues are there leaves are there roots are there and protein is present in this then these are subjected to decomposition by the microbes this protein and this protein is break down into polypeptide or peptide we can say and then this is converted into amino acid so this is important organic form of nitrogen that is present in amino acid polypeptide and protein from where this protein come from from the plant residue because plant uh, metabolize the protein so uh, these are the plant residue which contain protein which is subjected to decomposition by the microbes then it is converted to amino acids and this protein may be bound to uh, bound to clay particles clay colloids or humic compounds humic compounds so this may be free or may be bound to this clay colloids if amino acid is there so amino acid may be bound to clay colloids humic acid 
similarly polypeptide protein and amino acid may be free this amino acids may be free in soil solution so this is the important organic form that is protein second uh, is protein but different type of protein that is the mucoprotein this are the mucoprotein actually these are the glycoproteins and this uh, glycoproteins actually the proteins conjugated with the uh, carbohydrate so this is the mucoprotein we can say protein uh, is conjugated with carbohydrates which are present in soil so this is the mucoprotein or glycoprotein and another form may be amino sugar in case of amino sugar amino means this amino acids amino acids so amino amide is there and this amide is present in sugar so hydroxyl ion in sugar uh, are replaced by replaced by this amide group so sugars are present carbohydrates are there in soil and hydroxyl ion are present and this hydroxyl ions are replaced by amide group then this is known as amino sugar and very good example is chitin chitin is amino sugar and this is the uh, important uh, cell structure in case of fungus then another may be uh, muramic acid so these are different organic form of nitrogen muramic acid and muramic acid is actually amino sugar acids these are the amino sugar acids so these are the acids which are consist of this amino sugar and very good example is polypeptide in bacterial cell uh, for example uh, polypeptide ya peptidoglycan ya we can say peptidoglycan peptidoglycan in bacterial cell wall and chitin is present in fungus bacterial cell wall or bacteria uh, cell wall is consist of this peptidoglycan particularly of this muramic acid and chitin is present in case of fungus so these are the different but the major form is protein and some enzymes are also present so enzymes are also present in soil and most of the enzymes are protein most of the enzymes are present and these enzymes are secreted by microbes so these are the different organic form but the major one is this protein and amino uh, sugars because this protein are present in this this crop residue and then they are subjected to breakdown decomposition then in plant residue nucleic acids are present nucleic acids that is uh, dna and rna which are present in cell so this this is also organic form of nitrogen and in case of nucleic acid nitrogen is present as a nitrogen base purine and pyrimidine so purine base and pyrimidine base purine and pyrimidine and in case of uh, purine adenine and guanine is very important and pyrimidine there are cytosine and guanine and uh, uh thymine okay and uracil so these are the pyrimidine base so these are the important one and these are present in case of uh, fungus chitin and this peptidoglycan in case of bacteria and enzymes are secreted by microbes and this nucleic acids are present in the plant residue which are subjected to breakdown and then amino acids are there which are free in soil solution and they may combined with the this carbohydrate then they make the mucoprotein and this amino uh, amide group may replace hydroxyl ion in sugar and makes the amino sugar so these are the different organic form of nitrogen but the maximum amount is of this amino acids uh, peptide and the protein and what are the different inorganic form so if we talk about inorganic form and this inorganic form is important because plant absorb in organic form not the organic form so these organic forms are not absorbed by the plant so this organic form is converted into inorganic form then these are absorbed by the plant so what are the inorganic form of nitrogen in soil so ammonium is there nitrate is there 
and there is a conversion of ammonium into nitrate and some amount of nitrite this is nitrate actually this is nitrate and this is nitrite but this nitrite is very less very less amount it is not uh, high amount but it is very less amount less amount then ammonia is present in micro uh, space because there is a conversion then nitrogen gas is also present and 2O gas is also present but this amount are very less these are the less amount so maximum is of ammonium and nitrate so these are the different inorganic form other is hydrazine actually this hydrazine are synthesized by the microbes which have capacity to fix nitrogen particularly in those microbes so this hydrazine is actually n2h2 but this amount is very less less amount but the microbes synthesize this hydrazine so hydrazine is also inorganic form of nitrogen so this inorganic form are converted into organic form as we discussed okay and then organic form is converted to this inorganic form so this conversion is called immobilization and if organic form is converted to inorganic form then it is called mineralization so this important uh, uh, category of nitrogen is very important uh, which uh, interchange by the emulation and the mineralization so these are the different organic and in organic form and this process is mediated by microbes so microbes are involved in this process mineralization and immobilization so but we should know what are the different organic form and what are different in organic form so plant absorb this this is the ablevel form this is the absorb plant absorb this form so this is the ablevel form we can say this is the ablevel form these are ablevel to plant and what if it is ammonia n2 and 2o protein amino acids or mucoprotein glycoprotein this is not the ablevel form so nitrogen should be present in this ammonium and nitrate form then it is available to plant so there is conversion between organic and inorganic form so this is very important to know what are the different form of nitrogen in soil so if it is in carbon chain if it is present in any organic structure then this form is called organic if there is no carbon chain and then it is called inorganic form so this is the basic difference of organic and inorganic thank you very much